so in our previous video uh, we looked a simple blinking program uh, on dg spark board uh, in this video first we are going to solder pins on dg spark board and then we will continue from here so let me uh, first do soldering So the soldering is done. Now uh, let's just start with the serial print. So uh, in Arduino Uno or Nano, uh, we usually use serial uh, serial library to print on serial monitor. So this is a, a simple serial library. Over here we have defined board rate, and we are just printing hello world. And after compiling this code, uh, what we have to do is we have to go in uh, serial monitor, and you will see the display over here. Right. So this is what we do in Arduino Uno or Nano or any other Arduino flavor as well. Uh, but over here in DG Spark, this serial library is not available. So what we have to do is we have to use another library. And this library is DG Keyboard. So all you have to do is you just have to go in Board Manager and you have to go in uh, DG Stamp. AVR boards and you have to select this 16.5 megahertz board which we already did and you have to include this library so this library will be included correct then over here we are just doing DG keyboard and we are just putting the delay of uh, uh, 5000 microseconds which is uh, 5 seconds and then we are doing hello world and then the delay of 1 second and then hello world again so let me just compile this code And you have to open a notepad to see the display. So let me open the notepad and let me connect my DG Spark as well. So the code is uploaded. Now let me click over here and wait. So over here you can see. Uh, uh, in notepad it has written hello world and hello world again so you can do this in loop as well so it will write it in a loop form so let me just copy this code and paste it over here and let me just comment out over here and let's just compile this code and let me uh, reconnect DG Spark. so the code is uploaded So over here you can see now it's printing in a loop form. So this is how you can use this DG Spark uh, keyboard library and we can use it in different places and we will see this in our future videos as well. Thank you.